setting up at a Grafton Notch. We stayed at the cabin hostel last night. Huge day today. We are on the last far out map. Far out is the app we use on the trail. It's divided up into a bunch of sections. And the last map started at Grafton Notch where we were just dropped off. So the very last map from Grafton Notch, I think it's 267 miles to the end of the trail. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that sounds really good. Still have a little ways, but nothing like we've done. Today's supposed to be a little easier than what we've been doing. And there's supposed to be some fantastic views. It's sunny and nice today. It's cool, perfect hiking weather. We stayed at the cabin last night and they got busy and weren't able to take us to do a resupply. So some friends of my brother and sister-in-law were in Maine from Missouri and said that they would like to help out Randy and his daughter. They're also hikers and fellow YouTubers and they came and took us to resupply, which was awesome. Randy and his daughter's name, is, trail name is Johnny Angel. Randy doesn't have a trail name yet. We heard that one of our friends that we hiked around a little bit called Healing Hands. She was a physical therapist or massage therapist. I can't remember which one. Had to be evac off the mountain a couple days ago. She went off one of the boards, the broken boards uh, that are so bad around the bogs. There's so many of them out here. And injured herself, was not able to walk out. So she had to be evac off the mountain. Her and her husband were section hikers. So hope, prayers for them and hope that at some point in the future they can finish their section hike. I think they were planning to get off in Rangeley, Maine. And they were, I don't think, I think they were going to do Katahdin next year. But, so they were just doing a long section of the trail. But they're almost done and that was going to be the end, I think, next year. But they didn't make it to Rangeley, so... Hopefully she's okay and she'll be able to come back and finish the trail next year. I haven't heard how bad it is, but it was something in her leg that snapped or something. <sighs> Sounded horrible. There was so much trail magic. At Grafton Notch, I guess it's a popular spot. Yesterday there were two groups of people one fixing um, hamburgers and hot dogs and cheeseburgers, bacon cheeseburgers, actually, I think. Oh, so good. Thank you to them. And then Candace and Dewey, who we met before that took us to Walmart a few days back, or five, five or six days back, maybe, uh, they were there doing trail magic. She was on the Walmart trip when she took us to Walmart to buy stuff for the Trail Magic. And we got to ride in the back seat with Dewey, her assistant's dog. It was awesome. So they were there. Again, it was great to see them. And today, there was a group of college students that actually do trail maintenance. I think at Moxie Pond. And they were doing a Trail Magic. They are fixing hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff for the people that came off the trail. We had just had breakfast at the cabin and so we didn't take anything. We didn't need anything. But thanks to them for doing that for the other hikers. Oh, and thanks to Honey, who has the cabin. She's such a nice lady. And uh, Kitchen Sink 
who fixed us breakfast. That was delicious. Blueberry pancakes and all kinds of um, fried potatoes, eggs, sausage, and then honey made ham and green beans, bread, and sweet potatoes last night. It was amazing. I think I'm over three miles in, haven't had to climb one cliff yet. It's been a hiking trail. Imagine that. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I'm so happy. And it's been beautiful, all this moss, rocks. It's been up, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still been a climb hasn't been a piece of cake or anything like that, but so much easier without having to do cliff climbing. Just walking and there's like dirt sometimes. And then when there's a lot of mud, they've carefully placed rocks. There's been trail maintenance. There's been drainage done right to get water off the trail. It's amazing what some trail maintenance can do to make it just such a pleasant experience. Look at all these beautiful rocks. So pretty. Look at these beautiful steps. <sighs> Looks like a fairy garden or something. <laughs> steep rocks but still rocks not sure there might be a cliff up there but right now it's just steep rocks I think this is bald paint mountain we're still climbing up I think it was a uh, over three miles to the top three or four we're almost there few steps left. Actually, I don't see the top of the mountain yet. <laughs> so, we should be getting close though. Bald Pate Mountain, West Peak. Elevation 3,662 feet. I got to the West Peak, heading on. There's a view ahead of us. And look at this beautiful blue sky. It's hot. I have sweat just running down my face. <laughs> Ooh, this is amazing. See that mountain over there? I think we're going up that next. In fact, do I see the trail up there? Yeah, I'm sure we're going up that one next anyway. I think that's the next bald peat mountain. This one was west, so that one must be east. There's a blaze, we're in the right spot. Oh, this is amazing. The views. Look at this.
Only thing bad about that is I'm going to be climbing those cliffs. I know it. They look scary, but maybe they won't be quite as scary when I get over there. Just came down that. Thank you for the ladder. I was just at the top of that mountain. That's West Baldpate. Now I'm down in the valley between the two mountains. Not too far down there, you can still see. I'm way up. I just follow these cairns across and then I think we're probably gonna go way up there somewhere. In fact, I saw somebody standing up there earlier. There's the cliffs I'm coming down, or going up. See them coming down? See the two people right there in the middle of the screen? They're coming down. Can hear them talking from here very faintly. Whew, I'm glad I'm going up, not coming down those. Coming up's gonna be scary enough. Ooh. Where I'm at though. Nice, huh? That's the trail we came down at the top of that mountain there. You can see it coming down and then across all those rocks and then up this cliff. Still climbing. Quite the view. Scary. Whew. I was told there weren't very many cliffs on this one. I guess this one just is considered one cliff, but it's like a whole mountain. <laughs> and now you can just barely see Old Buzzard and Possum. They're coming up right in the middle of the screen. You can just barely see them. They get to do this cliff next. Here's the view, it's quite spectacular. Here comes Possum and Old Buzzard up the mountain. This is what I just did, up the cliff. Y'all are doing great. Do you want to eat it here or up at the top? No answer. <laughs> they can't breathe and talk. <laughs>
Almost. There's a nice little bench right here to rest on. A little bit further. Ooh, your hand is tore up. What'd you do to your hand? Our car coming down. Oh no. First little rock slide thing. Let me see it. Tree. Oh. Busted a chunk out. Oh, ouch. Are you bleeding too? Yeah. Not yet? Okay. So. You're okay. <laughs> see that mountain with the cloud above it? The one mountain with the cloud above it? It's on what weather system? That is Mount Washington. We're getting pretty far away from it. Yeah. Still going up the rock face, but it's not a cliff anymore. It's just a hill and I can walk it up. Part of the other I could walk up, but part of it I was crawling, hanging on by my fingernails and my toes. <laughs> I think we're gonna have lunch up here. Bald Pate East Peak, 3,812 feet. Ooh -wee. Look at that view. We had lunch at the top and here are some windmills. Look at all of them. This is the other side of the mountain that we didn't see before. found a place by a waterfall to camp. There's possum. There's old buzzard getting food out to eat. And here's my tent getting it all set up and eating. We're tired. We did almost 10 miles today. Not quite. I think it was nine point something or another. But we did a long day and there was some pretty hard terrain in there too.